What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, I hope you are doing well. What you are watching in the background is some Overwatch and as the title of the video suggests, this is me using characters that I wouldn't, wouldn't normally use. So my normal go-to characters when I'm playing Overwatch are usually uh, Zenyatta for the healing side of things, um, Soldier 76 and Diva. They're the kind of the three characters that I main on a regular basis. So what I wanted to just bring you is just a little highlight reel of some quick play that me, Bipolar Bear and uh, Gaming UK 13 played tonight. Um, just having a little bit of fun and we all know how stressful season three of competitive has been and oddly enough this is the most that I have ever played in terms of a season of competitive play in Overwatch and it has been without doubt the most stressful stressful competitive season going I've said season about 18 times sorry um from the point of view of where I first started in the competitive season, um, doing your placement matches, where I um, won seven, drew two, and lost one, and got him put put into silver on 1,700 points, um, to Bipolar Bear who won six, lost four, and got put into gold on about 2,200 points. Go figure how that works out. To the way that the meta actually works in this, particularly in the in the competitive season, it's been a lot of. Um, where you should the two tank meta um, which if you're within a team it's been fantastic what I've struggled with is because a lot of my friends that I play Overwatch with got put onto higher level teams than me and you need to be within like a thousand points to be able to all play within the same team or to form a team together kind of thing it's been difficult for me in terms of getting into a game and then playing that competitive game and leveling up I think overall looking at my stats I have played let me work this out. I've lost 48, won 45. My best kill so far is 61 um, in in a game of Overwatch um, competitive. And kills don't really matter. I don't know why I mentioned that. It's about the objective play. It's the wins and the losses. And this is one of the biggest problems about when you solo queue but then get put into something like silver or gold you just get put with all of the absolute numbskulls that play the game that don't understand the point of when you're playing on defend there is no point none whatsoever of having a genji none whatsoever you're going on attack there is no point in maining a hanzo whatsoever at all it's gotten to the point now that if we do get together and play a game that we we select the characters we don't want anybody else to choose straight away and then change over to the characters that we would normally use. But the reason why I wanted to bring you this video is just me playing specific characters that I wouldn't normally play. So playing Reaper, I don't play Reaper at all. I couldn't stand it. I used to find myself constantly bloody teleporting left, right and centre all the time. I found it extremely infuriating. I just couldn't play him. And then it wasn't until... I actually remapped my buttons on my controller to now where my uh, teleport is R1, my ghosting is L1, uh, and it just seems to make it a lot easier. So my melee is pressed down on the uh, on the analog stick, on the right analog stick, and for whatever reason, it's just a little bit better. The gameplay in the background that you're watching, I think I actually got a 21 elimination streak. Again, kills don't matter, but in terms of me playing as that character and not being able to do very well, that was quite good for me and yes I know it's only quick play so you do tend to play against people that aren't particularly good so you can't imagine yourself being absolutely amazing but for me it was just enjoyable to to do this and just try out different characters and see whether or not you can get to grips with them and whether or not you can do a little bit better with them so the important part of doing this for me is that what it allows me to do is if we get into a particular game again and somebody takes the characters that I would main with in competitive, it gives me more options. So it's always important, I think, particularly in quick play, practice with players that you are basically no good with and just spend a bit of time, spend an evening playing on a particular player think, right, I'm going to main... Reaper for argument's sake or McCree and, and just see if I can just kind of pull it together a little bit and just get the idea of how it works. It's like with McCree, people think that you need to be up close, you don't. McCree is a sniper. If you can get your shot on point, headshot, you're going to take people out two shots easily. 
So it's just giving yourself that little bit of practice. So when the next competitive season comes around, you're going to be a lot more valuable to your actual teammates and you're going to be able to do a lot better than what you normally would do anyway. So yeah, that was it. I just wanted to bring you a little bit of a highlight package of some quick play from this evening. Hopefully you do enjoy it. My game of the year, I've said it so many times, but this is my game of the year for 2016. It's won so many game of the year awards as it is anyways, but it's definitely my favourite game this year by far. I'm going to leave you with my play of the game as Chaborn. And I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please don't forget to click the like button. If you're new to my channel, please also don't forget to subscribe. I thank you so much for stopping by. This has been OG Gibbon, and we will see you on the next one. Peace.